What's up, guys? So, got another little guide video for y'all um, for how to find your SID using Discord. Um, if you aren't familiar with what your SID is, but I mean, I'm assuming since you're you found this video, you're looking for it. Um, your SID is your secret ID. Your secret ID is that like last little piece that you need to make a Pokemon fully yours. If like you're making something in like a Discord bot or using uh, Pika Hex, it's what you need to make sure that when the Pokemon has like your full ownership and stuff. So thing you want to do is find a Discord. Um, I'm going to link you to my Discord. Not every Discord is going to be able to use this method. Keep that in mind. So what works here might not work in another one. It's just based off of their settings, but I'm going to kind of give you a more so universal approach to how to do this. So first thing you're going to do, um, make sure you have Pokemon Sword of Shield or, and that you have Nintendo Online. I mean, a lot of people will join the discords and they don't have Nintendo Online, which is like what you need. So you need to be able to be online. So what you're going to do. All right, just waiting to connect online. So what you're going to do is you're going to connect online and in the server, you're going to find one of the um, trade rooms, whatever that is. So we're going to go to Lando bot, which is mine. And you're going to do a basically a simple trade. So all you have to do is, I mean, you don't have to make a complicated trade or anything like that. Just I'm going to just do dollar sign i mean not dollar sign so each each bot has a different command in front of it some have exclamation marks some have the pound some have at every bot is going to be different so make sure whatever server you're in that you you know that um that trade command so for this um channel for this server it is the exclamation mark trade I'm going to do space and i'm just going to make it make me something simple because what we're going to do is we're going to have the bot trade us something and we're going to trade the bot back something that we either caught or hatched in game so i'm going to do that i'm going to get added to the queue looks like this is already up there pretty fast so let's set up a link trade and make sure that you put in your link code within like um, 45 seconds to a minute because these things usually go pretty fast and how soon you get a trade it really depends on the server as well so got to keep that in mind so it's searching just waiting to match with the bot so we can do a trade and i mean like i said you want to trade it something that's like a reject or something you you don't really care about in all honesty so there we go let's see Make sure I'm matched deal with LarryButt.tv and I'm going to trade it something. So I don't want to trade a good thing, but I mean, I think all I have in this game is good stuff. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can remake them on. So I'm going to send it my Tapu Coco. I got the Eevee here. I mean, like I said, this isn't a, a video designed to show you guys how to generate Pokemon. This is a guide designed to show you how to get your SID. So just waiting. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I mean, if this is just a simple method, like I said, the mine just needs to be something that you've either caught or hatched in your game yourself. That way it has the SID. Because again, SID is some is unique for your game when you match it with your TID, your trainer ID. So I got the Eevee. Let's close out of this. Click yes. And what the bot is going to do now is, once this closes out, the bot is going to send you a PK8 file of the mine you just traded. So what you're going to do, you're going to download that PK8. And you're going to go back into that same uh, channel that you just used. So let's go back. Let's go back to Lando bot. And what I'm going to, and you're going to just upload the PK without a um, trade command. So upload a file. Where is it? Oh, my downloads. I'm going to send it. And don't send it with nothing. Just send it as it is. And what it did is it printed out, basically made a printout import of the, the mod that I traded. So now I have my SID. And there's your TID as well if you're unfamiliar with that. Um, if you ever see 
like let's say here you have five digits is because it's leading zeros that means the zero is that first digit it just doesn't get typed out so now you got your SID as 1991 so with that you can make your mods with your your SID and have like complete ownership and stuff like that so that's always really good and it'll really help you guys with making sure that you make stuff that has like that obeys you in battles and all the other fun stuff so hopefully this video helped I'm gonna do a little quick little recap of what you need to do uh, first you're gonna do you're gonna join the server whatever server you're in and you're gonna go to a bot channel in that server make sure it's open make sure you know the trade command for the bot in question that you want to use you're going to do a trade with the bot trade for anything or if it's something you want or something you don't want and you're going to trade the bot something that you either caught or hatched and then after the trade is finished with the bot the bot is going to send you a pk8 of that um the mod that you sent once you get that pk8 as i just did you're going to upload it into the channel and it's going to spit out all this information now keep in mind not every bot can do this so it, whatever server you're in i suggest maybe asking in like their help channel but hey can i use this bot to find my sid stuff like that but there's also i mean there's other ways to find your your sid you can also use the dump command and i'll show you guys how to do that it's it's the same thing so you're going to do and with the dump command you can basically not have to trade so i'm going to do the same thing exclamation mark dump same thing bot messaged me my link code i'm actually i gotta i actually have to wait a little bit for this thing to pop up but i mean i'm online i'm waiting and like i said dump is almost the exact same thing just that the bot is in a trade with someone else at the moment so like i said end up just having to wait for it to be ready for you some bots are quicker than others um, just gotta be patient with wherever you're at so i got my code it's another link trade and not everybody is going to start with um the zero 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 thing like mine does link code is entered and remember you have about different bots have different times some are 30 seconds some are a minute but still just be quick be ready that's all i gotta say with that so with with the dump command what you're gonna do is you're gonna show the bot different mods it's gonna click trade and there you, go. you see it just made my um my uh a pk8 of the mod so and i'm gonna show it the eternus and it just made a PK for that. So, and that's all you gotta do. Once you've shown it, I think the limit for some bots ranges from one, some do up to 15. But all you gotta do, you show it stuff and it'll print it out. And so now I'm gonna go look at my messages. And you see, it doesn't actually have my um, SID here, but you're gonna do the same exact method. So go ahead and download it gonna go back to the bot channel in question I mean really you can go to any bot channel that that allows you to do this uh, there you go Lando bot I'm already here and you're going to basically do the same thing upload it without a um, trade command like I say just upload it without nothing and again there you go popped out my SID is 1991 Hopefully, again, those are the two methods to find your SID. Um, hopefully that helps. Um, if you guys got any questions, ask in the comments below. And remember, your SID is not going to be the same for every single game that you play. So if you have an, uh, your SID and TID will probably be different for Shield. If you're playing Sword, your SID will be different for like a Gen 2 game or a Gen 4 game, Gen 5 game. But this method can be used similarly to do the exact same thing. But in particular for ease, you want to use this for sword and shield to make it easy for yourselves. And I mean, that's really it. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, like, subscribe as always, and hope you guys have a good day. And I, again, I hope this helped you guys out.